Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to a very fun, fun, fun Welcome episode. Welcome back to more pain. Of... <laughs> Let's play Yoshi's Island. It's that time again. Yup. The, um, if you know this level, you know that it really takes maybe about 30 seconds to complete it. So, you might be wondering Whoa. why this these is, video is isn't a 30 second long video. Six minutes long. <laughs> Uh, like, like I said, I kind of want to keep these videos uncut, if I can, to, uh, just show all the fun that's going on uh, when you play these levels. Great frame rate. <laughs> yep. Those things slow down the, uh, game when you have a ton of them, so sometimes I would just try to see how many star bits I could get on the screen at once. It... Well, you're already a third <laughs> of the way there to a perfect score, now you just need to not get hit. Well, that's actually not as hard as it sounds. In fact, those are the only star bits in the level, because most of the level is what? like this. Oh. This is, this is most of what we're going to be talking over as well, just so you know. The oh, man. entire, basically this entire level is a series of these red switches that you have to hit, and then... Oh. Uh, yeah, that's going to happen quite a few times. Uh-huh, that's kind of interesting. It's, it's so are those sort of, like, bounce pads? The... Like, which ones, which which things are we talking about here? The red switches. Well, no, you do they bounce keep, off them, yeah. They keep the blocks... And yeah, the they do keep the all of the red blocks going. Like, if, the, if they weren't there, then they would just oh. go away. Oh, come on, you were on that one! Yeah, but I ran off of it. <laughs> Yoshi has momentum and he has to slow down. This isn't Mega Man. This seems more interesting than the last one. It... I'd say it is. Oh. <laughs> nice save. Yep. There's, there's gonna be a lot of nice saves because there's gonna be a lot of failure. Hey, it's not a failure if you save it. <laughs> oh. Now, I probably should have kept though. going. There's, there's a reason that you want to keep the switch going for as long as possible, but the reason that, like... I jump off when I land on it like that is because in the few, you kind of want the these switches to last as long as you possibly can. And here, it, it doesn't really make so much sense, but yeah, here I'm just like, alright, screw it, I'm going. But here's where it starts to make a little more oh. sense. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Yep. Oh, man. So, this okay, is like that flower terrible. that I just got, you have to get all the way over to that, like, you basically have to go to the far, the further bounce pad to get the flower first, or else there's really no path that leads to all the switches. Meanwhile, also, Yoshi sets a long jump record. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's honestly, doing that makes this level a lot easier, because it means that if I go up and jump on the switch like that, I don't have to give up. Yeah. Because now, once I go all the way over here, I can take this bounce pad. There we go. Finally, we see the first se this second like half a, of the level. Oh, this is like... oh man! Oh, now you're screwed. Yeah, now you gotta start over. Yep. That guy this just is... tossed you off the stage. What an asshole! This is really interesting for Yoshi's Island level. It's like it's like completely different. Yeah, it's like. It's like yep. it takes a totally different skill set than the rest of the game. Absolutely. A lot of the bonus levels are apparently just like that. I only now know the first one and the second one. Right. Oh, I've right. heard things about the third one. The first one requires the very specific skill of dog herding. Yep. Each one, they, they definitely, so far, all take a lot more coordination. This one, more than the other one. Because you really just need to be able, like, you know, be able to hit the switch and get in the right place. And that's really not what the game has stressed so far. And it's very fast. Like, oh, absolutely. Which is, like, not what you expect from a Yoshi's game at all. Mm-hmm. And it's not even, like, it's, like, it's different from a Mario game, too. Because, like, you know, you're not just holding right and trying to get through a yeah, puzzle. Yeah, yeah. Or... Yep, gotta get the flower. Yeah, there we go, success. And now just watch the world fall away around me. You kind of, like, catch up with the camera at some point, and then it realizes, oh, they're going all the way back, aren't they? <laughs> also, you have to hit that switch on the left first, because that's actually the one up there, and it goes away if you hit that one, if, you know, if you hit it. Oh, it, it wouldn't spawn. Yep. Because mm. <laughs> you just hit Devious. it. It's, it's pretty evil. Ooh. 
Whoop. Uh, 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 oops. So this game sort of has a primitive physics engine with the momentum and that. It. I mean, all the Mario games actually have stuff like that, but it rarely comes out. Yeah, because usually you don't have to be so perfect with things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's much more of a Mega Man thing that you just stop instantly whenever you land on things. Beautiful. Once you get to here, it really is just, like, you know, reflexes are die, because there's no place to fall back to. Glorious! Uh, that was not a red coin, thank god. Oh, thank god. Yeah. Oh man, you better go also, back and get it. Also, the very end of the level, you have to be careful. Because if you jump on that before the timer runs out, there's not enough room for Yoshi to get oh, under. Come on. And it just kills you. <laughs> yep. Wow. Yep. It's... Did, did that get like, you? The whole thing is great. It got me uh, on an earlier recording. Ah, uh, that's perfect. <laughs> that is you some just... bottomless pit after the goal shit. Yup. <laughs> that, that was a cool level. It really is. Like, it's These levels are difficult as hell, but they're so much fun to play, and that's why I try to show all of them as long as it doesn't get like too tedious. I mean, I know you got a full run through of this one, but it took like, you know, six minutes. Ooh, and we got a nice melon. Hooray! I wanted the question mark, but alas. Maybe no someday. Luck. But, join us next time as we finally move on to World 3. What? Well, halfway done now. Sorry. Well, after the third. Two-fifths, or... Wait, how many worlds in this game? 